Okay, so now we're entering a section on geometry and shapes, and we'll look at shapes first. We'll look at the simplest shape we have, three-sided. That's called a triangle. And obviously everyone knows what triangles. Uh, tri meaning three, angle meaning there's three angles. So, we've got four types of triangle. The first type of triangle we've got has got all the sides the same and all the angles the same. So all sides and angles the same. Okay, and that's an equilateral. I hope that's about right, God knows I do maths, I don't use English. Right, the next one we've got, got two sides the same, two angles the same. So those angles are the same, that angle's different. Okay, so now we've got two sides and angles the same. Okay, and this we call an eye. Sosceles triangle. So, next up, no angles the same and no sides the same. Okay, so no angles or sides. The same. None, none whatsoever. And that we call a skeining. Okay, and there's one special case of the skeining, which is a right angle triangle. Now, we'll be coming back to right angle triangles later because right angle triangles are very interesting indeed. So here's our right angle triangle. Basically, this is a scaling. It's none of the sides or anything the same. It just has a right angle in it, hence the name. A right angle triangle. As I say, special things about that which we'll come back to later. Right. So, the all the angles inside a triangle must add up to one hundred and eighty degrees. So, of all of these, we know straight away that in an equilateral triangle, all the angles must be 60 degrees. Because 180 divided by 3 gives us 60 degrees. That wasn't very well done there. Uh, the rest of them, we haven't got a clue. They could be anything. Obviously, in scaling, these two are the same. So, if I know that this is, say, 40 degrees, that leaves me with 140, which means these two must be 70. So we can always work out what other angles must be if we know an angle. So obviously with a nickel sorry with a right angle triangle, we need to know one other angle. If we know that's 30, we know instantly that must be 60. 60. Because those two have got to add up to 90 as well. Okay. So what else do we want to know about triangles? We probably want to know how to work out the area of a triangle. So, let's just do that over here. So area of a triangle. So when doing the area of a triangle, it's just a half times by the base times by the height. With an equilateral triangle, sorry, with a right angle triangle, nice and easy, this is our height here, and this is our base. And we can see why it's half base times height, because essentially this is half a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle would just be base times height, this is half of it, so it's just half of the base times the height. Obviously with the scaling here, we've got the height here, and the base here. Again, there's our height with our isosceles, and there's our height with our equilateral triangle. So, area triangle is just half base times height. 
that's everything you need to know about triangles until we go on to the right hand triangle later on. So, what's next? Well, what's next is shapes with four sides. <laughs>